Speaker, I rise in support of uh, S-533, the Clar Guidance Clarence Clarity Act, which is identical to my bill, H.R. 1508, that passed the House by voice vote on October 20th, 2021, almost 13 months ago. American small businesses have enough to worry about, especially in this economy. Inflation, supply chain issues, and labor shortages have made it exceedingly difficult to be a small business owner right now. These are people who don't have time to worry about keeping track of the latest government red tape, which is made more difficult by the conflation of agency guide, guidance with regulations and laws. The purpose of guidance is to assist Americans in understanding rules and regulations and give them suggestions on how to adhere to them. However, it's important to note that guidance is not law, and it is in, nor is it enforceable as law. It is simply a suggestion. Guidance is not approved by Congress, nor does it go through the federal rulemaking process, which allows for public input and legal scrutiny of agency actions. Therefore, citizens are free to take the suggestion or completely ignore it. Unfortunately, over the years, regulators have threatened punitive action against businesses for not following guidance. It's not talking, I'm not talking about people breaking the law or ignoring federal regulations who should certainly face consequences. I'm talking about small businesses who are following the federal regulations but simply are not doing it in the manner certain regulators would prefer, the way their guidance suggested regulations be implemented. This is unacceptable, and it is illegal. Regulators have no legal authority to enforce guidance, and any attempt to do so is an egregious abuse of power. To make matters worse, thousands and thousands of guidance documents are constantly being produced. So instead of achieving their intended goal of providing clarity, they're making the waters even murkier. With some regulators enforcing guidance while others do not, small businesses and entrepreneurs are falling deeper into the regulatory maze of the federal government. The Guidance Clarity Act, Clarity Act is a simple, straightforward solution. It ensures the first page of guidance documents contain, includes a plain language statement declaring that guidance is not law, nor can it be legally enforced as law. This might seem like a small fix, but this critical statement clarifies for individuals, businesses, and regulators alike that guidance is meant to be helpful. It is a suggestion that can be put in there and put in place or disregarded. It will help regulators do their jobs more efficiently and small businesses who lack the resources to employ teams of expensive lawyers continue to strengthen our workforce and economy. I thank Chairman Maloney and Ranking Member Comer for bringing the Guidance Clarity Act to the floor. I also thank Senator Langford for getting the bill across the finish line in the Senate. This is a common sense solution that will help American small business owners who are the drivers of our economy and embodiment of the American dream do what they do best. With that, Mr. Speaker, I encourage my colleagues to vote in favor of the Guidance Clarity Act and yield the balance of my time.